time to get off the Xbox. But Dad, I just got on. You've been on for at least two hours. No, I haven't. Actually, you've been on for almost three hours. And the family rule is one hour of screen time a day. But Dad, part of the time didn't count because I was reading the directions for a new game. So? So reading is reading, not screen time. Really? Then I fix the headset and cable connection. So? So problem solving is like homework, not screen time. Really? Then I played online with my friends. So? So talking through the headset is like a playdate, not screen time. Really? Then I went on YouTube to figure out part of the game I didn't understand. So? Online research is like homework, not screen time. Really? Yes. So? So I haven't used any of my screen time. In fact, I've actually earned time. Really? There's the hour I have already, which equals an hour of screen time. Okay. Reading directions and problem solving and helping friends play video games equals another hour. Okay. Then the YouTube homework equals another hour. That was in homework. That was extra screen time in order to have more screen time. Right. I mean, wrong. You've been playing video games and using the computer for three hours. That's two hours over the limit. That's not what I got. You were using different math, not video game math. There's no such thing as video game math. Yes, there is. Is it like Montessori math? The kind you learn at your school? No. Video game math is way easier. And more fun. If video game math was part of school I'd be in college already. Listen. You've played video games for three hours. That's the math I'm using. No. See, Xbox over PlayStation multiplied by YouTube equals zero. Which equals an hour of video games. Or, Xbox plus YouTube divided by Call of Duty in story mode equals reading for 20 minutes. Which equals an hour of video games. Or, Assassin's Creed Revelations plus Halo Reach minus campaign mode over Angry Birds on your iPhone equals zero. Which equals an hour of video games. Or, Angry Birds plus Drake's Revenge minus Mario Brothers divided by GameCube multiplied by PS2 equals 0. Or, the square root of Xbox. Which is also 0. Which equals an hour of video games. Oi. I'm so confused. So, does that mean I can have 3 more hours? Okay.